I dipped in and out of Soho, um, just for entertainment purposes throughout my life, and I'd always had a draw to it and had a good time there. But then I got offered a job um, to run the PR and marketing for a world famous strip club, and it it amused me to the point where once I started to get a taste of that life there and started to work in that environment. I found it very difficult to leave. To the point of even, when I used to leave Soho to even think about having a night out anywhere else, it never felt the same. So I always got brought back into that environment because it's so, it's such high octane and so mind-blowing with regards to the, 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 the trouble you can get into the, and the excitement that it creates and the drinking and the, you know, the drugs and the women and uh, that real undertone, the, 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 secrets, the secret Soho that I believe you only see if you work there. Um, and if you work there, it's very difficult to socialise anywhere else. Because you use words like the undertone and you think the underbelly and you've mentioned drugs, but this is, you're not talking about perhaps, well, you know, it's a pejorative term and each person has had their own subjective view of it, but something like, you know, this... You were mixing with high rollers. This wasn't people, you know, scraping a few quid together to get a shot of heroin. You're talking about high rolling people with lots of money to spend, only the finest clothes, that sort of thing. Yeah, there was a. It's a mixture. Soho's got a mixture of people, and it's um, you get your big spenders and you get your chances. And when you put them all into a bag, like I say in the book, you know, it creates this vortex of complete and utter madness so you've got the the sharks and the chances and you've got the guys that have got you know successful businesses that come there just to have a blowout okay. so you're surrounded by them and that's what I was and I was drawn into it and I loved it and I loved the excess of it and the madness and the, it just gripped me and I didn't want to leave it but that's the point of I believe you get to where you start to realize if I don't get out this is going to take my life and that's the whole point of that undertone, that underbelly of Soho, if you do get involved in it and you do start really stirring it up, you can really create, you know, havoc and because you, trouble. Because you, you were a salesman, you were a car, you worked in sort of high rolling car sales before you came into the adult industry, didn't you? I worked in, I worked in, the, I worked in the commercial vehicle industry. Okay. And, um... And I used to take clients into Soho. So we used to, I used to dip into Soho. Right, that's why you dipped in, okay. And that's why I used to dip into Soho. But I really enjoyed it. So when I had the chance of actually thinking, right, I can work here, that's why I took it with both hands. Kid and took a everything. Shot kind of thing. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um, everything that I could imagine was delivered to me and more. So it was, why wouldn't I? Any guy who's got the chance of working you know, within, in an environment of women and drugs and drink and bars and clubs and time that goes on, 24 hours a day partying if you want to. As long as you had the money, you could party. And that was the whole point. I mean, you just, you exhausted everything. You exhausted your energy. You exhausted your money. You know, you exhausted even friendships. Because, you know, it's, it's one of those, once it gets hold of you, it's very difficult to get out of.